Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and I'm finally back to reviewing live music and the venues that showcase them. Today's video is about longtime local icon, the Sand Dollar Lounge, located at 3355 Spring Mountain Road, just west of the Las Vegas Strip. But first, where did I put my keys? I swear they were here just three months ago. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. If you love live music and you live anywhere near Vegas, you know the Sand Dollar. Opened in 1976, it didn't take long before this laid-back bar attracted some big-name blues legends, including Muddy Waters, B.B. King, and Mick Jagger to name a few. Yeah, I know Mick's not a blues legend, but it's still pretty cool. Temporarily closing its doors in 2007, the bar went through a bit of an identity crisis. From bikinis to television, the music community in Las Vegas was relieved when the venue returned to its proper name and persona in 2009. One of the best parts about the Sand Dollar is its sound production and acoustic layout. The pool players and gamers at the bar can hear the music without being blasted out the back wall, and the music lovers have plenty of front row seats, giving live shows an intimate feel that lets you connect with the musicians on stage. It occurred to me while I was there that I hadn't been in the venue since their kitchen opened up, so of course I just had to try it out. This is the only reason I work out. Looking at the menu, I decided to go with a nice handy 6 inch for 6 bucks with my customary toppings, mushroom pineapple and bacon bits. Don't you judge me. While I waited for my carbs to show up, I perused their unique cocktail menu before deciding on a straight whiskey to be reviewed in another video. Did you subscribe yet? I particularly liked their shot in a beer pairing by city menu. It was inventive and interesting to see what combinations the bar felt fit certain cities best. If you generally don't go to bars because of the smoke, good news, the bar recently went smoke free. As for the staff, they were friendly and glad to be back at work. As for me, I was glad to be giving them work to do. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you'll check out the Sand Dollar Lounge as soon as you can. It's a great venue. It's been here a long time and hopefully it'll be around even longer. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, click up there in the corner. If you'd like to subscribe, please click down the other corner and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll get notified when I make new videos like this. Remember to be amazing, stay safe, and we'll see you next time in Room 6.